Big Cars, powering British Challenge Mixed Martial Arts throughout 2016. www.bigcars.co.uk Our first battle of the evening is an amateur mixed martial arts contest. Both of these athletes weighing in at exactly 163 pounds. Introducing firstly, fighting out the blue corner, representing Jim Owen.
Touch gloves as we start the second round. See if, uh, see if Martin can, can keep the incentive that he developed through that first three minutes. Yeah, it'd be a shame to see him get over eager in the second round, Steve. He did such a good job in that first round. And there's always a danger with a more novice guy that they just get a, a bit too much confidence, a bit too full of themselves, and they want to go out there and put on the show. But I mean, he's he chopping, chopping that lead leg with the right low kicks. If he didn't have the movement advantage already, a few more of those leg kicks are uh, I mean, certainly going to put paid to, uh, to any kind of movement on the, on the part of Darren Fraschek. Big, big purple welt behind the knee there, fresh check. Yeah, I can't, can't, can't eat too, too many more of those shots without starting to check them, you'd think, or his movement's going to be. Still keen to get stuck in, though. Absolutely. I think he, he, he wants to get into that pocket. He wants the exchanges there nice and tight in. Well, it definitely looks like if he can find that range and, and unleash one of those big hooks, it's going to be happy days for him. But looking to bulldoze his man into the cage. Great job there to just grab the neck, turn off. Fantastic stuff there from Ivanov. Oh. You can you can hear hear the corner of Martin swim two two shots now. Don't just throw the one, throw the combinations. Well, you can always hear Brian Adams when he's in the corner. So <laughs> one of the more vocal coaches on the UK scene, and that's why we love him. But great advice: use the fitness. Land two shots, not land one. He's got the speed to do it. He's clearly got the technique to do it. And it's working very well for him. Huge, huge leg kicks again. Oh, and then he goes scores, high. Yeah. Cheek up through the middle, honest to the face. Br just brushed aside by Frasic there. Well, Frasic's keeping his head moving as well. He, he's not a stationary target. Unfortunately, all the head movement he's got doesn't really seem to be helping him. Even though just really able to pinpoint those shots, really timing them very, very well. Just, just, it just seems just that little bit ahead of the game on his feet. I, and I think the, the corner's going to have to tell Frachek, and then if it makes it to the third, to, to try and get this fight maybe to the ground and impose your will there. Oh! Swing and the big right there was Frachek. I, I agree with you, Steve. If I'm in Frachek's corner, I'm, I'm just screaming ankle picks, power doubles, anything he can do. He's tried to charge him into the cage a few times, but uh, even though I'm able to just work his way out, so maybe bulldozing straight forwards what it's going to take to get it done for Fraschek in terms of getting this fight to the ground. Martin's still looking very, very composed as he throws that left hand. Constantly watching in and out. I love watching this kid's footwork. I mean, again, for a debut, this is somebody who knows the striking game. I would suspect not his, not his first stand-up fight. No, absolutely not. The, the technique there is... Um, a little more than you'd expect to see someone step in uh, into, into professional combat sports or competitive combat sports, should we say, uh, for the first time. He's definitely got some experience. He's wearing a pair of tie shots. Come on, this guy's had a few <laughs> kickboxing fights, clearly. But, uh, you know, the Darren Fraschek's looking like he's not so much a stranger to fights himself. He's a big old boy. Um, you know, he's, he's loading up that right hand. We've not really seen much else from him in the way of offensive output, Steve. And I think that's really going to be the key here. He can't stay in that striking range and expect to wing that, that big right and finish this fight at this point. It's already clear uh, Ivanov's able to get out of dodge as quick as he likes. He can get in and out, he can land the punches. It's got to be an all-out assault from Fraschek for me in this third round. Yeah, you figure he's got to be at least two points down. Uh, I don't think any of the rounds would, would, would justify a 10-8. I think he's been busy enough, but certainly two, two in the hole, and that means he's got to finish. And the Derby MMA faithful have certainly brought some noise with them. This great atmosphere for the first fight on the prelim card. They really are making a lot of noise, willing that man on. Crash check, we saw him try to bully his man into the cage. That's what we thought, Steve, maybe looking for the takedown in this third round. But again, it was a nice knee this time that allowed uh, even of the movement to, to get out of range. And landed the knee up the middle the first time as well. Now it's just working him. Gonna have to work himself against off against the cage. Fratchik's gonna have to have to transition, maybe for the double and take him down. He wants this on the floor. Going for a high crotch there, maybe a nice wide base move, and gonna make it really difficult for Fratchik to switch for that double. As soon as he does, if he tries to hook that other leg, you'll see Ivanov just drop 
his hips down all the way central. It's going to make it very, very difficult for those tired arms to Pro snatch that double leg. The problem, of course, for Fretzik is, that, you know, time is now not on his side. If this was early in the first second, beautiful. But with two minutes left in the fight, he, he needs to make a difference. A good job there from Dan Moverheady as well, breaking that. You know, there's three minute rounds here for the amateurs and the cage control just means so much more during that time. And what you will see in these amateur contests tonight, Steve, is the referees breaking up for an activity a little quicker than they would with the pros. Just uh, dropping the mouth mouthpiece there. Just three three minute rounds for all our amateur fights tonight. Five minute rounds for the professionals. Certainly a little more urgency coming out of Darren. He was always throwing with intention, but now he's pushing forward, really trying to land hard. Again, trying to land with that right over the top, but a little bit of pop got out of it since the first round. And I bet the, the hand got over, but it just didn't have enough power to make any difference to... Again, we can talk about the mental side of things. You know, how willing is he going to be to drop his hands for a takedown when he's been stung so many times in that first two round by Ooh. the crisp punching of Martin Ivanov? As you, as you say that, he landed a, a pretty big left, left hook there. This has certainly been his best round of the fight so far. Yeah, a lot more aggression. Still coming forward. Ivanov's not landing quite so freely as he was in the first frame. Still looking very comfortable. I've not seen the leg kick so much from Ivanov in this round. Okay, maybe extra. Uh, yeah, he must, <laughs> just have, to he must prove have heard you. <laughs> I mean, he's throwing that. He's throwing that right with real, real venom now. Scratch. The problem is, just out of distance, and even off, able to slip out the back. He's not going back to basics there. Nice jab and stepping off with the left hook. Final ten seconds of the round. Let's see if he's going to go for a big finish. Looked like he was about to load the right up there again, but time's going to be his enemy here, Steve. Right, they saw it out to the end. He survived. I think a very, very, very good debut from Martin Ivanov. And, you know, I don't want to be a spoiler, but nah, I would suggest a unanimous decision in his debut. Yeah, I think yeah, I clearly at that point, three, three rounds uh, to Martin Ivanov. You know, it's always interesting seeing these guys the first time or two out in the cage. The, 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 one, uh, the one sort of barometer I always use is, would I like to see that guy fight again? And I think with Martin even obviously it's a definite yes. It's, it's a lot of promise, a lot of excitement in his performance. I can't wait to see him. I'm sure he's going to pick up a win here. I can't wait to see him searching for his second victory. OK, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, all three judges scoring unanimously, unanimously in favour of the blue corner, Martin Oga! <laughs> Big Cars, powering British Challenge Mixed Martial Arts throughout 2016. www.bigcars.co.uk Auto Print, official print partner of British Challenge Mixed Martial Arts. www.autoprint.co.uk GB Visual, supplier to British Challenge Mixed Martial Arts. www.gbvisual.co.uk